I'm Craig Hignett and you're watching Mariners TV. Obviously off the mark for pre-season with a goal for yourself but not the result that we were looking for for the team. What did you make of the, the game overall? Yeah, a really good test for us to be honest. They're, they're a really good side and I think they'll do do really well again this year. I, I can't remember how many points they finished top of that league last year but it's shown that they've got a lot of good players um, and even the lads that have come off from the bench. Are, so it's a good test for us. That a lot of them are experienced as well so um, we've just got to take take all the learning from, from the good things and the bad things and then we'll take them into Saturday and try and implement them. Obviously a lot of people will look at the scoreline but there were some positives in there as well you would say as well wouldn't you? Oh 100% there's loads of positives in there. Um, you look at the first 35 minutes and it's probably the best football we've played um, but then you've got a, a sloppy 10 minutes after that so again you might look at 35 minutes and say right let's take that in the next game but you've got to take more of the, the 10 minutes that we had a bit of a bad spell and say we're, we're going to improve on that so it's, it's all learning in pre-season it's all learning and for yourself on the score sheet there with a good header from Alex's corner there was it a nice feeling to get off the mark yeah it's good it's, um, it's very rare score from a corner to be fair if I'm not taking them but me and Fence are a bit crap around it in training it's alright I thought it was a young John Shaw for a minute there but um, but no it's uh, it's good to get off the mark, obviously, um, with a goal, to be fair, I didn't even know it went in. Um, but a great ball in by Kemp, so hopefully he can, he can take that assist and, and move on with that. And the red card in the second half there as well, we had to play a lot of time with 10 men. Was it was that a valuable experience, do you think, going into the season to have that experience of playing with 10 men? Yeah, definitely. It, it, it's one of those things. It, it happens in our league that more than probably others. Um, whether it's referee decisions or if it's bad decisions from the players, but against pre-season, you take that as a... a exactly what John just said in the change room, you take that as a bit of a fit, fitness exercise and then you, you learn to adapt in different games because we we'll probably will come up against that this year um, but again great exercise to go away with and, and see what we can do with Saturday. Once we've had two games behind closed doors today was the first game with fans back in as well I guess that must have felt better more natural experience for you as well to have supporters on the sidelines. Yeah yeah it, it just creates a little bit more of an atmosphere um, don't get us wrong you, you, you've still got to concentrate on your own game so um, you kind of block them out a little bit but obviously it'd be nice to get some of the fans back into Mariners and uh, and get them as a 12th man again. Just finally looking forward to the next couple of games, I don't guess you'll be involved tomorrow night against Bolton CA, you haven't had so many minutes there tonight but Saturday mask away, that'll be another really tough test won't it, against a good side? Yeah it's always a test when you go down there, I don't think I've played against mask and, and ran away with the game, it's always tough, um, so again another, another good test for us in pre-season, um, another team in around our, our standard. Um, and then we take everything up to learn from today and put it into practice.